So what are you going to speak about today? I am going to speak about the three awkward situations when you got autism. Uh -huh. Okay. Carry on. <laughs> so, I have experienced autism when I was about three or two years old. Before my siblings were born, I was their only child. I always threw tantrums everywhere, smacking things on the ground or throwing things in the air. Sometimes I might repeat, <laughs> sorry about laughing, but I might repeat the same thing that I like, like, that I like, which is drawing, having toys to play with, or playing with my, or playing with my parents. For example, I have experienced when I wanted to have a toy, but my mother won't let me. <laughs> and then she said, you can have it later, right after you will have money. But then, I did not know what the word later means. But when I'm growing up, I know it means it will happen later, right? Later means for, not for a long time. But I threw a tantrum about having a toy saying, I want it now, now! <laughs> oh man, that was really funny. So, I'm going to tell you the three awkward situations when you have autism. Number one, things that you are attracted to. Like I said in my previous, like I said previously, that I wanted a toy, but I won't, but my mommy won't let me get it. So I threw a tantrum. So here's one way my mom tried to keep me away from doing so. It is by attracting to think, by getting attention to other things that that attract me, but sometimes do not attract me, like playing with a ball or maybe like drawing or something, or reaching like cartoons. But now, people say that they change when they grow up, only to me, or maybe to doctors. I have, after being autistic for, after 10 years of being autistic, autistic I have changed my behavior, see? My behavior has changed. So here's another awkward situation on, on having autism. It is like the way your parents treat you or other, or other nature or environment treat you. Like, for example, I remembered one time that I scribbled on my brother's face. So my dad sort of like hit me and then I just threw a tantrum because saying, I just want to have fun with my brother. It's just for face painting. So, so that's not the way to control it. Just let it be. Even though it is something bad, you can just let it. Just, it's like having fun. So, so how do, so here is the third awkward situation on when you have autism. It is, of course, trying to manage your anger. A bit like a bit like the previous point, your parents wanted to teach you a lesson and then you threw a tantrum to make them stop. So if you want if you're seeing your kid throwing tantrums everywhere, just let it be. Do not just lock them in a the room or maybe you can just make them calm down. Just make them calm down. Let it be. Just, just do not. Please do not make them stop. Just let them be until they can calm down. So those are the three awkward situations that, that we can face when we have autism, including when we are toddlers. Thank you for listening. Bye.